Welcome to the Year 9 Options Presentation for Design and Technology. Doing what you like is freedom. Liking what you do is happiness. Presented by Dennis Williams. If you are a student who loves to do things with your eyes, and if you are good at creating and modifying stuff, you probably will do well in design and technology. This presentation seeks to provide you with a basic overview of the subjects that are available for your choice. What are the focus areas of this presentation? In this presentation, we will look at building and furniture technology, electrical and electronic technology, motor vehicles, and technical drawing. Let's start with building and furniture technology. The teacher is Mr. C. Harris, and the examination board is CSEC. The construction industry is one of the fastest growing industries in the Cayman Islands, and there is a need for local personnel in this field. This industry has provided many well-paying jobs over the years. What constitutes the SBA coursework? The core, valued at 30 marks. Site work operation projects, 10 marks. Basic architectural drawing project, 40 marks. Construction project, 35 marks. Furniture technology project, 35 marks. These are all practical pieces, each with a written component. Some of these areas will be covered in year 10. The total possible SBA marks is 150, which is 50% of the final grade. The format of the written exam. There will be two written papers. Paper two consisting of structured questions, all compulsory. Paper one, which is the core, consisting of 60 multiple choice questions. Exam weighting is 50% of the final. What are some of the possible career options that you could pursue if you study this course? You could become a building contractor, building inspector, project manager, tiling and flooring inspector, mason or block layer and finisher construction manager, a roofer, cost estimator, or a safety manager, among many others. Here we have some pictures showing students laying out a building under the supervision of their teacher. The next subject we looked at we look at is the electrical and electronic technology. None of the modern marvels of the world is possible without the use of electrical and electronic technology. Consider a world without refrigeration, air conditioning, or even modern means of sound amplification. It is imperative that persons wishing to understand the rapid pace of technological advance have a good grasp of the fundamentals of electrical and electronic. SBF requirements for electrical and electronic technology. One, the core values 30 marks. Electrical principles and measurements, 24 marks. Electrical and electronic drafting, 24 marks. Electrical power and machines, 24 marks. Electrical installation, 24 marks. Fundamentals of electronics, 24 marks. These are all practical pieces with written components. Some areas completed in year 10. Total marks 
50% of the final grade. Format of the exam. We will have two written papers. Paper two, consisting of five structured questions. Students must answer all five. And paper one, consisting of 60 multiple choice questions. Exam weighting is 50% of the final. What are some of the career choices that can be made if you study electrical and electronic technology? You can become acoustic consultant, aerospace engineer, broadcast engineer, CAD technician, control and instrumentation engineer, design engineer, electrical engineer, electronics engineer, nuclear engineer, sound engineer. This photograph shows two former students completing their electrical SBA. Next subject we look at today is technical drawing. Teacher, Mr. D. Williams, examination board, CXC. A vast number of career paths are available in the field of technical drawing, including mechanical, architectural, and electrical drafting. Technical drawing professionals use computer-aided designs, software to create drawings for everything from toys to skyscrapers. So more careers that can be Pursued are architectural drafting, civil engineering drafting, electronic drafting, manufacturing design, general design and illustration, multimedia artist and animator, surveyor, or interior design. SBA requirements for technical drawing. Total of 120 marks or 40% of the final grade. Section 1. Students will have to complete two written reports based on the fundamentals of technical drawing. Section 2. Two computer-aided drawings from plane and solid geometry. Section 3. Students will design a single story dwelling house. It must be done on the computer it should include a floor plan, foundation or roof plan, front and a side elevation, a sectional elevation, and a detailed drawing. Students will also write a small business plan. Please note that this business plan is a lean business plan, not an extensive one. Format of the technical drawing examination. Two written papers. Paper two, consisting of two questions about building drafting. This exam will be done in the drawing lab. Paper one, consisting of 60 multiple choice questions, also will be completed in the drawing lab. Written paper is valued at 60% of the final. These images show excerpts from former students' SBA portfolio. At the top, we have a detailed drawing showing the eave detail of a dwelling house. And at the bottom here, we have a floor plan for a two-bedroom, single-story dwelling house. And on the right is a modern pictorial drawing of a house. Finally, we look at IMI motor vehicles. The teacher is Mr. Hi Emmons, and the examination board is the Institute of the Motor Industry, IMI. The IMI motor vehicles students are required to complete 10 modules and submit evidence of the practical work done. 
students will learn about car systems such as suspension, electrical systems, braking systems, steering, cooling systems, chassis, as well as charging and starting an engine. This course has no, component, no exam components. Therefore, SBA is worth 100% for clarification. If you require more information about IMI motor vehicles, you may stop, stop by and talk to Mr. Emmons in the tech block. The Automotive IMI Awards offer you the chance to attain a level 1 or 2 qualification. The, the 10 modules that is required to be completed is basically for the level 1. But these modules are, modules are not long and if students work quickly, they can complete level 1 and then move and then transition into the level 2 qualification. What are some of the possible career choices? Vehicle maintenance or repair, automotive management, vehicle sales, parts sales, body repair and refinishing, rental and leasing of motor vehicles, roadside assistance, vehicle inspection, auto sales and service customer service. Auto -blazing. These photographs show students gathering their evidence for the, the upload to upload onto the IMI system. We have student, the former student under the car working, and we have two other students there working on the engine block. Thank you so much for your time. For further information on the choices presented in this video, please feel free to contact the subject teachers or any other teacher in the design and technology.